Hello! In this video, we'll show you 15 and useful idioms that will not only make you laugh, but will also help you sound like a native speaker. Hello and welcome! I'm Roy, an English language coach helping you be a professional and confident English speaker. Quick definition. Idioms are phrases or expressions with a figurative or symbolic meaning that cannot be understood from the individual words in the phrase and may appear unrelated to the rest of the conversation. Idiom enhance your conversational and written skills. They spice up the conversation and make you sound like a native speaker. I wrote a little story for you to demonstrate idioms, a fictional story about an adventurous person we'll call Jack. See if you can notice and understand all the idioms in the story and their uses. I'll give you a clue. As the title of the video suggests, there are 15 idioms in the story. I'll go over the definitions later in the video. Ready? Here we go. Once upon a time, in a land far closer than you think, there was a young professional named Jack. He woke up early in the morning, feeling like the early bird catches the worm as he had an important meeting to attend. He knew that time is money and he didn't want to be left out in the cold by being late to the office. As he was getting ready, he realised that he had a lot on his plate for the day, but he was determined to make hay while the sun shines and get everything done. He hit the ground running and started the day with a can-do attitude. However, Things quickly took a turn for the worse. His boss, Andrew, threw him under the bus during a crucial meeting with an important client, and he had to think on his feet to come up with a solution. He felt like he was up against a wall, and it seemed like there was no way out. Just when he thought he was out of the frying pan and into the fire, his colleague came to his rescue and helped him turn the tables on the situation. Together, they pulled out all the stops and made a killing in the meeting, impressing Andrew and the client attending the meeting. Feeling victorious, Jack patted himself on the back for a job well done. He realised that sometimes, when you're up against the ropes, all you need is a helping hand to bounce back and come out on top. With a smile, Jack called it a day and went home feeling he had hit the jackpot. It was a win-win situation for everybody. The end. That was an inspirational story, one we can all relate to. Okay, fine, it was over the top, but the important part was the idioms and their uses. How many idioms did you catch during the story? Let's see the meaning of each idiom and an example. The first one you heard was, early bird catches the worm. This idiom means Whoever arrives first has the best chance of success, or that opportunities are available only to the first competitors. I won the bid on the new office by being the first to be at the lawyer's office. I always try to be the early bird that catches the work. This one is used a lot, and I'm sure you have heard this in films and on TV. Time is money said to emphasize the importance of not wasting time because it could be used to earn money. I don't want to waste any more time. We need to get this done. Time is money. Left out in the cold. You sounds chilly. And while you understand the phrase literally as being cold outside, this idiom means to be excluded from something, to be neglected or to be ignored. They called an important meeting regarding my project. I don't want to be left out in the cold, not knowing what is going on. You probably know the feeling of this next one. We all tend to do it. A lot on one's plate. This idiom means to have a lot of responsibilities or tasks to do that can seem way too much. I have a lot on my plate today. I have to finish this video, create a lesson plan, and later on have coaching sessions with my students. I have a busy day. Opportunities. I like it when they come my way, as I'm sure you do as well. Make hay while the sun shines. 
It's an old saying that has become a proverb. A proverb is a short, old saying that conveys good advice or something that is true. Making hay while the sun shines means taking advantage of an opportunity to do something while conditions are favorable. You make a good use of your time, you use an opportunity while you have it. This is a great opportunity for us. Let's make hay while the sun shines and grab it. You know that energy you get when you start something new? Yes, they have an idiom for that as well. Hit the ground running. This idiom means to start something quickly and with lots of energy. Let's hit the ground running on this project and make sure we stay ahead of all our competition. As you are here, you are probably working on improving your English skills. You have a can-do attitude. This idiom means to have a positive attitude and willingness to do something. She has a can-do attitude. She's always willing to take on new challenges. Let's be positive again and be able to think on our feet. This idiom means to be able to think and make decisions quickly in a difficult situation. He always has to think on his feet. He's always ready for any situation. If you have to solve a problem, what do you do when you're up against the wall? Hmm. This idiom means to be in a difficult or impossible situation with few options. I feel like I'm up against the wall. Well, I don't know what to do to solve this problem. No, 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 no. Not everything is doom and gloom. That's being negative. Yeah, well, um, the next one is uh, also uh, negative. But I promise the positive ones are on the way. Don't take this one too hard, but there is no way out. Sorry, a bit um, too much. Okay, this idiom means there is no solution or escape from a difficult situation. But there are always solutions, right? I'm stuck. I see no way out of this negative idiom. What am I going to do? I know what to do. Provide you with a scary idiom. Well, when I say scary, I mean sort of negative. Okay, it's another negative one. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. This idiom means to move from a bad situation to an even worse situation. Sheesh! Has to be the worst, right? I thought my last job was really stressful, but now that I've started with this new one, it's like going from the frying pan and into the fire. It's a lot more difficult. Okay, I think we've had enough pessimistic idioms. Let's turn the tables on this one. Turn the table means to change a situation so that you are in a position of power instead of weakness. See? Some positivity. We've been struggling to meet our sales target, but I believe that with the new strategy, we can turn the tables and start making real progress. If you're finding this video helpful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already pressing some buttons, a like will be fantastic to promote the channel. I want to bring some positivity. Pull out all the stops. This idiom means to do everything possible to succeed. To do something on an epic scale. To go all out. To exert every effort and to hold nothing back. With only a few days until our deadline, we must pull all the stops and work around the clock if we want to be first on the market. I want to combine these two upcoming idioms. And they have similar meaning, but can have different uses. Make a killing and hit the jackpot. Make a killing to have success, especially making a lot of money. Hit the jackpot, a term that comes from the game of poker. It refers to winning a lot of money in a short time. See the similarities? These idioms mean to be very successful and achieve great profit. We made a killing on this investment. We hit the jackpot finding it and made a lot of money. To learn more, click on the video coming up. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.